Well, thank you for coming. We're really excited you're here. Why we wanted to bring in Champagne is as a drag performer, messing with perception is what you do. And because machines are being trained to perceive us, we want to see if we can mess with those perceptions. So when we go to do our workshop, our hands-on portion, we're actually going to see if we can confuse systems in different sorts of ways. And since we have a professional drag performer, <laughs> we're going to get some tips uh -huh. before we get going. So as we talked about, there is this question of, is there a face, right, for the facial analysis task of detection? So my question for you, when people go to the ghost chamber and they want to avoid their face being detected, mm -hmm. what would you, what are some tips you might give to people? So the biggest thing for me is the nose that sticks out. So like in this look in particular, the way I painted it um, was so that the nose kind of appeared flat. So like there was no nose there. Um, it's very hard. It's kind of like painting a ball to make a flat image. It's kind of like, it looks distorted until you turn it one way and then it looks right. So it takes okay. skills. Yeah, it's something that like, it, it's taken me like seven years to get used to it. So it's something that like is not. Are there tips for us if we don't have seven years? It's kind of just like making sure because like there's different facial features. Yep. So kind of just like blocking them out or um, another way of doing it is like the eyes just kind of like putting white underneath them and kind of drawing them down. Um, because then that distorts it so it doesn't look as much like an eye. Um, and just kind of doing that, it's just, and kind of like contouring it in weird ways. So putting shadows, which I mean like a brown or a darker contour, where there wouldn't normally be one, and just kind of forming those shapes. Like my cheekbones, for example, today, where I like cut it very sharp. Um, <coughs> it's like a drag thing in general. Usually you'll go this and then fade it up to contour, but I like to go down sometimes because then it gives me extreme cheekbones, which I don't have. So it's stuff like that. Uh, what's con, I, I, I'm a complete technology. Okay, so con contour? contour, it's like highlight and contour. So essentially highlight is where all the lighter parts of your face, where they would kind of pop out versus contour is where they're deeper. So it's like when you're drawing or painting and you want to put a shadow somewhere, that's essentially what you're doing with contouring. And if we want to now move to the infinity chamber where we will be messing with age, what are tips you have for either looking older or younger, or I guess here, just, just dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so definitely um, with trying to look older, you would put more lines where like wrinkles would be. Um, so that sort of stuff and kind of like just naturally, like when you smile, like the smile lines are near your eyes, like I forget what they're called, like the, so the crow's, 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 crow's feet, feet. yes. Okay. Um, like where those are and just kind of putting darker colors and contouring there. Um, and then in terms of younger, you it's more like highlight and kind of looking like very like young and dewy. Kind of, dewy? Yeah. What do you mean by dewy? How do I look dewy? <laughs> um, aside from putting water on your face, um, <laughs> you just using a very like light color, not white, but a little bit off white probably, and just kind of like making it look brighter, okay. essentially. Yeah. Got it. All right, and then the drag chamber. We want to break gender classification. So what are tips you have for messing with gender? So for this, like in particular here, because I was going for Mariah Carey, um, she has very like signature cheeks. So um, it's kind of, we call it cutting the cheek. So you can actually use a card, like an index card or something like that and hold it up to your face to get that sharp line. Um, and it's just kind of rounding it out if you want like really like Mariah cheeks, essentially. <laughs> um, and then if like you want to do the opposite and do more masculine, it's more sunken in. And then it's more contouring uh, like up here um, above your eyes and just kind of giving that kind of like square look, I guess. Square look. Yeah, and then the nose too. Like so feminine features in general, the nose is usually thinner and like thinned out versus masculine where it's more boxy. So it's just kind of like going along those things and making the brow protrude more in certain ways and just playing with contouring pretty much. And how do you play with facial hair? Facial hair, I usually color it, so I colored it black, um, but sometimes I'll color it different colors, like bright pink, blues, like different shadows. Actually, in the slide before on the skull, I still had my facial hair. I just colored it a certain way, so you can't really see it as much. Ooh, um, so 
So yeah, it's all about, you can just color it with foundation um, or like face paint, that sort of makeup. Eyeshadows work too, but typically um, creams work better. Got it. And then the final chamber is the dodge chamber. So here a face is still detected, but how do you try to look as different from your own face as possible? Just go kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in this example, um, I usually draw under my eyes with a white, and that like drop makes your eyes look bigger. Um, and then really highlight the like crease um, of your eyelid and kind of like shifting it upward. Um, this type of makeup is definitely for like stage because you're performing in front of people and you they could be like further back. So like Tricks and Mattel and Drag Race, I paint for the back row or the check catching place down the street. Um, mm -hmm. So it's that kind of like really over the top because Trixie's makeup is like crazy. Um, and then like the lips overdrawing them um, to make them look bigger. Um, the nose, like I said before, kind of making it slimmer or bigger and then just kind of emphasizing that. Um, like I did today, I changed my nostril shape too by putting black around it just to make mm. them look like my nose is upturned more than it really is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh. I tried to do some stuff today, but I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tricks. Got it. So thank you for all of these tips. I just want to see if I can say back to you what I heard. So okay. in the ghost chamber, when we're trying to avoid it, basically the eyes, the nose, the mouth, we try to either make them disappear. Kind of camouflage or exactly. yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. And then when we're trying to look older or younger, we can play with crow's feet, we can look dewy yeah. and bright, <laughs> add water, spray mist. Yes. Yeah. When we're trying to mess with gender, we can mess with the nose, we can mess with the jawline, it's the lips. jawline cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> like the, I forget, your temples, I think that's what it's called right here. Uh, up here, yeah, yeah. got it. And then Dodge Chamber, just go crazy. Yep. Yeah. Go crazy. Okay, well, thank you for that overview. And now, let's give a round of applause.